What's up everybody? The first day of fall is finally here and with it comes a new festival in Monster Hunter World. That's right, this time we have the Spooky Spectacular Autumn Festival. Now, I know this festival started a few days ago, but just in case you haven't had time to jump in and enjoy it yet, we decided to make you a little guide for what new activities and gear to expect this time around. So, like every festival that has happened in the game so far, this festival brings with it the ability to partake in any past event quests that have existed in the game. So if you still need to grind for the Devil May Cry armor or your USJ Palico armor, don't worry, because you've got another chance right here. There's a lot of event quests to take part in, and since I've covered those in previous videos, I'm not going to do it right here. I'll post them in the description below, and I'll link them at the end of the video for those that are curious. Now then, what is actually new to this festival? Honestly, not a whole lot. First off, of course, we have a new cute pumpkin outfit for Poogie, a new autumn festival meal for you to enjoy, and some new autumn tickets which will allow you to craft the autumn festival armor. Let's take a quick look at the male version here. The helmet has focus, the chest has tremor resistance, the arms have resentment, the waist has constitution, and the legs have mushroom mancer. For those like me that didn't quite know what resentment was, it's a perk that increases your attack when you have recoverable damage, which is also known as the red portion of your health gauge. And of course, we can't forget the amazing ghost palico armor. Look at it. It's amazing. Each piece of the Autumn Festival armor for you and your palico will need one Autumn Festival ticket to purchase. So, before I said that there weren't a lot of new quests worth doing, and that's because as far as I've seen, there are only two new quests that will grant you gear. Granted, they are good quests, and you should do them. And there are already a ton of quests to grind, so really not a lot of complaining can come from us. Just wanted you all to know. Okay, so first off, we have the quest Where Sun Meets Moon, which will have you fighting a Puke Puke and a Tobi Kadachi. It's a three-star quest that needs a hunter rank four or higher, so really not difficult at all. Once you complete the quest, you'll be given a random amount of Downy Creek tickets. I think that's how you say that. Which you can turn in for da -na -na -na, the Downy Creek brooms. These dual blades will help you out a little with your sleep builds and can be upgraded once. And they're also very adorable, and I can't stop staring at them. And the second big quest that you should really check out is the sequel to the USJ Gold Star Treatment quest. This new one, titled USJ Blazing Azure Stars, is a 7-star quest that asks for a hunter rank 13 or higher. It'll have you fighting a tiny Azure Rathalos and a giant Dodogama, and in the end will grant you a lovely Azure Star Gem. You'll use these Star Gems to create the Azure Star Lord Armor Set, which is one of the most glowy gear sets in the game. Let's take a quick look. The helmet comes with Agitator, the chest comes with Handicraft, the arms have Recovery Up, the waist also has Handicraft, and the legs have critical boost. All in all, quite a good set. And that should about do it. Again, like with every festival, there are many, many, many other quests that you can take part in, and if you happen to miss some gear in the past and were hoping for a second chance to grind for them, then be sure to dive into this festival. And if you miss out on this spooky event, don't worry, because I'm sure most of these events will be back for another festival in the future. As usual, if you enjoyed the video and found it helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe, and until next time, happy hunting.